percentages. So Malik, what do you think the word percent means? Mm, how, how much of a chance you have of a number? Okay, almost. Let's see, let's look at the word percent. So let's break it up. What does the word per mean? Mm. Have you heard that before? Okay, so it means for each. So if I say per student or per person, that means for each person, okay? So let's look at cent. What does cent mean? Um, uh, the amount of money. Okay, how many cents are in a dollar? A dollar... How many pennies make a dollar? Oh, a hundred. A hundred, right? So if this means for each, and this means 100. So percent just means for each 100. Okay? So if we're going to look at these percent problems, this sign means percent. Okay? So we're saying 5% of 200. Well, how many 100s are in the number 200? Two. Two. So if we have five for each one of those hundreds, how much would that be? Ten. Ten. Very good. So 5% of 200 is? Ten. Good. So put your answer right there. What would 15% of 200 be? What do you think? How many hundreds do we have in 200? A hundred. How and two. Two. So how many 15s will we have? 30. It'll be 30 altogether. Very good. So 15% of 200 is 30. So let's look at a different one. What about 400? How many hundreds make 400? Four. So how many 25s would there be in 25% of 400? Very good. So what's 25% of 400? 100. 100. Okay, let's see if there's a really hard one. Can you try 8% of 700? <laughs> what do you think the answer would be? 56. Very good. That's it. You got it.